When doing your body comp, you're going to be measuring seven different skin fold sites all on the right side of your client's body. You're going to make sure that you take every site two times. If your measurements are not within two millimeters of each other, you'll do a third measurement and take the average of the two closest numbers. To begin, you're going to have your client face away and you're going to do a measurement on their right triceps. For the tricep site, measure the distance from the acromion to the olecranon process and mark the halfway point with an X. Obtain a vertical pinch, one centimeter above the pinch site, so that you can pinch just in the middle for one to two seconds and release. Make sure to maintain the pinch for the entire duration of the measurement. Once you've done that, you're going to have your client put their arm behind their back so you can measure the subscapular region. For the subscapular site, make sure the client has their arm behind their back, mark the inferior angle of the scapula, measure two centimeters below and make your X. They can relax their arm to the side, come in for a diagonal fold, grabbing one centimeter above the site so that you can grab right on, hold for one to two seconds and release. When you've completed that, have your client turn to you so you can measure the chest site. Measure half the distance from the axillary fold to the nipple and mark your spot. Come in with your calipers for a diagonal pinch. Obtain your reading and release. After completing the chest site, you will do the axillary site. Have your client grab their left shoulder with their right hand. Obtain the point on the mid-axillary line that is horizontally level with the xiphoid process and mark your spot with an X. Come in with a vertical pinch. Obtain your reading. And release. After completing that site, you can measure the abdominal site. For the abdominal site, come two centimeters to the right of the umbilicus and mark your spot with an X. Come in with a vertical fold, obtain your reading, and release. For the superiliac site, have the client indicate their hip bone. Come immediately superior to that to mark your X. Come in with a diagonal fold to obtain your reading, and release. The final site will be the thigh. For the thigh site, you're going to measure the distance from the inguinal crease to the proximal border of the patella and mark the halfway spot with an X. Come in for a vertical fold, obtain your reading, and release. Once you've completed all of your measurements, go through a second time in the same order and then obtain a third measurement if necessary.